hi uh, in this video I will show you how to calculate the standard deviation using your calculator for ungroup sorry for the group data set right so suppose that we have this kind of data set we have the so here we have the class okay the class interval which is uh, from one value to another so you have one two three four five six seven seven classes and then we have its uh, frequency for each of the uh, classes all right and then uh, in order to solve the problems uh, to find either the mean or the standard deviation for a group data set using the uh, calculator the first thing that you need to do is to find the midpoint so here I already calculated the midpoint so for the first class the midpoint is 8 so how do you get the 8 so you just simply take the lower boundary plus the upper boundary and then divide it by 2 or simply taking the average of the two values in each classes all right so here you have the value for the midpoint and also for the frequency so in order to find the value for the mean okay the measures of the mean and also the standard deviation uh, you need to multiply the frequency with the midpoint and the second one multiply the frequency with the uh, square of the midpoint right so in this situation in this uh, video I will show you without using the table without completing the table how are you going to come up with the summation value for summation of fx and summation of fx squared in this session, I will be using Casio Centrific Calculator FX570MS. Okay, this is the old version of a uh, Casio calculator, but widely been used by students. All right. Uh, so let's dive in into how we can come up with the summation value for the summation of fx and summation of fx squared. Okay. Bear in mind, you have the frequency and your midpoint uh, at hand. So in this situation, what you need to do right now is to first, uh, let me just on the calculator, if you can see the screen over there. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is to change the mode. Okay. If it's not in the uh, standard deviation mode or the statistical mode. So what you need to do is to uh, punch in the mode button until you see SD, REG and base so SD is for the statistical standard deviation measures of standard deviation and also mean uh, REG is for regression right so you want the first one that is 1 okay so now you can see that on top here at, at the top here you can see that there is uh, the mode is already changed to <coughs> standard deviation all right so what you need to do right now is to key in your data set so in order to key in your data set you have to key in in such a way of you have to key in x okay you have to key in value of x okay you have to key in the value of x and then semicolon and then key in the value of the frequency and then to store the values you have to punch in the key m plus and you will do this uh, this process all over again for all the data set so in this case our first data set will be uh, the midpoint x is 8 and the frequency is 1 so let's dive in into the uh, key in the values so what you need to do here is whenever you want to key in the values so first you key in the number 8 that is the midpoint and then in order to uh, activate the semicolon uh, the semicolon is uh, above the comma right so in this case you have to 
uh, key in the shift button okay, you have to key in the shift button shift and then comma and it come up with the semicolon and then you key in the frequency so in this case the first frequency is one so to store the data you just click on the m plus button okay m plus so now you see you see here it give you the first frequency okay the first frequency so you repeat the same process for all the values in the other classes until the end so what you need to do right now is simply key in the second one midpoint is 13 shift comma and then the frequency is 2 and then again punch in the M plus button to store the data so now it becomes 3 because 1 plus 2 the frequency become 3 so continue the process until the end okay let me just do this okay, 18 shift comma and then you have 3 M plus and then the next one is 23 shift comma and the value for the frequency is 5 M plus the next one is 28 28 shift comma and then the value is 4 M plus the next one is 33 33 shift comma and then you have the frequency to be 3 M plus and finally you have 38 shift comma and then you have the value of the frequency is 2 and then M plus so now you have the total number of data that is 20 the frequency so once you have this everything inserted in the calculator correctly now you can find the values for the summation okay how to get the summation value okay what you need to do is just simply once you have done everything okay what you need to do is just simply punch in the shift button and then punch in key number one okay key number one so it give you the three option over here so you have summation of x squared summation of x and the value of n so this is a group data set so the uh, the summation of x squared reflect the value for the summation of fx squared and summation of x reflects the value of summation of fx and n of course the number of data so so for example in this case the first the first value that you want is summation of fx right so you want the summation of fx so what you need to do is just simply choose the number two and then you key in equal sign okay so now you have the value to be 490 okay so that is for the summation of fx to find the summation of fx square what you need to do is just repeat the same process you key in shift button and then number one now you choose number one that is summation of x square this will give you the summation of fx square so number one okay you have a blinking cursor that means it doesn't give you the uh, result yet so in order to come up with the result you key in the equal sign so this give you the result so one three three one zero okay so now you have the summation of x uh, fx and summation of the fx squared you can substitute this value into the mean formula and also the standard deviation formula and without evaluating the form uh, the values manually you can find the answer straight away from the directly from the calculator so what you need to do in order to find the mean value and the standard deviation just 
punch in the shift button and then number two okay you punch in number two so it will give you three options one is x bar that is for the average or the mean okay the second one is sigma x so sigma x will give you the population standard deviation okay and number three is sx this will give you the sample standard deviation so let's say right now we want the mean so you choose number one and you press equal sign so this gives you 24.5 so that means just now you have the values for the summation of fx you divide by 20 you get 24.5 for the average value right again to find the standard deviation so shift number two again so let's say you want this uh, let's say this is the data come from the sample so you want the standard deviation for the sample so you choose number three okay you choose number three it give you summation uh, give you sx and then press the equal sign so this give you the standard deviation of a sample suppose that you want to find the variance so what you need to do just simply to get the variance you square the standard deviation so you can just simply if you want to use the shift button again can or you can just say answer square so this will give you the variance so 68.68 okay hope uh, this session uh, will help you in solving your problem for mean and the standard deviation for group data and the same thing also can be done for ungrouped data just that for ungrouped data you just simply key in the uh, values without the frequency and the same process goes on okay whenever you want to store the data you press the m plus button okay that's it for this session hope this is useful for you and can help you in your study okay see you again next time bye